One of the things I love most about fall is creating a warm and inviting tablescape for my friends and family to enjoy. So in today's video, I'll be giving you a tour of my 2019 fall tablescape. It's one of my favorites ever, and I hope that you're inspired in some way. But first, if you walk away from this video with at least one new creative idea, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I should probably warn you before we get too far into the video that I am not a less is more type of girl when it comes to tablescapes. I enjoy a very full tablescape with lots of different color and textures and I don't serve from the table so I have plenty of room to pack it in really full. I was very inspired by all of the autumn reds that were trending this season and so I decided to bring lots of color into this year's tablescape in the dining room. And by mixing in all of that color with a few key pieces colored in warm ambers and neutral tones created the perfect and most inviting balance. So don't be afraid to mix it up. The pumpkins I added this year had just the right touch of sparkle sprinkled on top and I found them at Home Goods. I picked up these maple leaf placemats last year at Pier 1, but instead of using them as placemats, I layered them down the center of the table. Just look at the sparkle! I like to try to find creative ways to make my guest feel extra special and I found these adorable pumpkin napkins on a Better Homes and Gardens video. And they're really easy to make. Let me show you how. Take a square napkin, fold it in half and iron a crease down the center. Then fold it in half again and iron in another crease. Next, fold the opposite corners and towards the center and iron in another crease. And the creases are simply going to help your pumpkin fall into place better when you flip it over and you're ready to make it. So they're not necessary, but very helpful in the process. Next, flip your napkin over, fold the opposite corners and again towards each other and iron another crease. Next, unfold your napkin and grab a napkin ring. If you have a wider napkin ring, maybe about two inches wide, about the size of this roll of tape, that's perfect, but it doesn't really matter. It's just, it makes it a little bit easier, but any napkin ring will do. I had ordered these uh, leaf rings to use on the table and didn't like the way that they looked, so I'm going to use them to make my pumpkin napkins instead. So now all you have to do is take the center of your napkin and pull it up through the center of the ring. If you flip it over, you'll see that the pumpkin is already starting to take shape. Next, you'll simply pull the corners up into the center of the ring and tuck them in until each of the corners is tucked into the center. Once you're done with that, go ahead and flip it over and start shaping your pumpkin. And it may take a couple of tries before you get it just right, but that's what makes them so unique. They're all different, but what a nice touch to add for your guests. 
there are probably lots of different ideas that you could use for the stem, but I happen to have picked up a bunch of pumpkins after season last year that were like 90% off and I hadn't done anything with them. So I used the stems from those to add into the napkin. But comment below if you have any other ideas on something that you could use for a stem in your pumpkin napkin. Isn't that just a lovely touch? You may recognize these stunning sequin pumpkins from my fall backyard tour. I found them this year at at-home stores and I love them just as much inside as I did outside. The amber colored wine glasses are from at home stores as well. I fell in love with these floral candle rings from the McAllister collection at Grandin Road as soon as I saw them. I find them to be very unique because of the combination of the spring blues mixed in with the rich autumn jewel tones. They bring some really sophisticated and edgy elements to the table that I find to be totally unexpected and charming all at the same time. With florals including roses and hydrangeas and chrysanthemums and a variety of leaves and pine cones, pumpkins of all different sizes and textures, candlelight, Great colors. I am over the moon thrilled with how this tablescape came out. I really hoped you walked away with just some fantastic ideas to share with your friends and family at your fall table this year. I'll have more images available and product information as available over on the blog at themillionairehouse.com. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today. As always, love and peace.